Hi folks. I have some things in the works and haven't been able to share a video in a while, so I thought I would make a quick one today. Here is my attempt at trying to make a breakout board for the ESP32 CAM board using a regular prototyping uh, board. I had laid out the parts and soldered them down, but once I tried to connect the pins, I ran into trouble. Between my very rusty soldering skills and my impatience, I gave up on that exercise. Until I found these PCB strip boards, also known as vector boards. These have uh, PCB through holes with rows of copper traces or strips running the span of the board, connecting the holes. What it means is that we don't need to solder wires or create solder traces between the pins. All we have to do is carefully arrange the components and actually cut the traces in the right places to create our circuits. It's actually quite neat and should save a lot of effort. The question is, how do we cut the metal traces? The official tool that we would use for this is a handheld uh, tool with what looks like a drill bit on the end that we use to cut the copper area around the through holes. So we have to do this one by one for all the traces we want to cut. An alternative that I've seen on the web is where a trace is essentially carved out using an X-Acto knife. Neither of these methods appealed to me, so I came up with something different that I thought would be more efficient. You're about to see what I did. First, to create my breakout board, I marked out the traces I wanted to cut across with a marker. Then, in order to cut the copper traces, I used an electric engraving tool to cut across where I had the lines marked off. Now, I purchased this engraver on sale for about the same price as that manual drill tool, and I think it's a lot more versatile. Now, this was my first time using the engraver um, in general, but more importantly, the first time using it to cut traces on a PCB board. I think the engraving depth was set a little too high and that resulted in cutting um, a little too deep. Of course it's better um, a little too deep than leaving conductive material behind. Between adjusting the engraving depth setting and having a little more practice with the engraver, I think the results could have been cleaner and prettier, but I did still get the job done. Of course you want to confirm the cuts are clean and there is no conductive path across the two sides of the cut traces. Here I use a meter to measure the resistance across the sides to make sure. You should also visually inspect the cuts to make sure there are no copper whiskers that are too close together and that could possibly cause a, uh, a problem down the road. I hope you find this idea useful for your own prototyping. A PCB strip board could be perfect for your project and I think using the engraver to cut the traces is a real time saver and with, uh, with some practice, probably a cleaner looking solution too. As I said, this is just a short video for today. Once I take delivery of some additional parts I'm waiting for and I'm able to solder everything down, I hope to soon share another video that makes use of this board along with two uh, ESP32 uh, CAM boards. Stay tuned, and until next time, have fun tinkering.